how to use any type for beginner's guide. The first things first, if you are not yet familiar with this specific website or application, AnyType is actually an encrypted or a local first alternative to the cloud-based internet. Now with AnyType, you can also build digital spaces around your interest. Uh, these spaces can be personal for diaries, uh, ideas and drafts, or shared with your family, small communities, teams, neighbors, and people with similar interests. Now for you to be able to get started, just pull up any web browser that you want to use and go directly to anytype.io. Now once you are on the AnyTypes official website, this is going to be your interface. So you will be able to see what, why, who, and this will all reflect to what specifically is AnyType and what is the use for AnyType. Now we will not be talking around that since we will be only tackling about the beginner's guide on how you can use this platform right here. Now once you're here, all you have to do is to click on get the app and this is going to be another window. Now from here, all you have to do is get app for Windows and it will automatically be downloaded on your browser. Now you can also choose to receive insider tips and tutorials on using any type or you can also receive product updates and company news. You'll just have to type in your email address and check either of these options right here or both. Now once everything is installed, all you have to do is to run and set up your account with AnyType. So once you have downloaded AnyType uh, setup, just double click on it and it will automatically initialize or installing the setup right now. Now once the installation is successful and done, this is your AnyType dashboard. Now all you have to do is to click on New Vault. After that, click on Get My Key. Now your Windows firewall will pop out. All you have to do is to click on Allow Access. Now from here, you can choose to show my key or you can go ahead and skip. So I'll just go ahead and click on Next. Now, all you have to do is to name the title of your space. So for example, I'm going to be naming this space as Edward. And then click on Enter My Vault. Now, this is going to be your space dashboard. So this is your guide. And let's just go ahead and close it for now. Now for you to be able to get started and create a project, just go ahead and click on this plus icon right here. Click on that and you will automatically be created with a new project. Now this is going to be your main subheading title and the pages and the tags that you can go ahead and choose. So let's just name this um, headline first. So let's say testing. Uh, testing 101 and if you would like to add a uh, cover or background for your page just go to hover your mouse to uh, the top part of your subheading and then go to cover now from cover you can go ahead and change the gradients colors and you can also choose to have a solid colors now you can use unsplash and these options right here are all the custom um, pictures that you would like to be uploaded or you would like to use as your cover. Now, if you upload any files you would like, then it will automatically be dragged out to one of your library. But let's just go ahead and start from the very basic. Now, let's choose on the simplest color here. So, like for example, this one. Now, for you to be able to access all the elements or tools, just simply click on any pages right here. And as you can see, there is a or there is an instruction on how you would like to access your commands or the elements or tools that you can use. Just simply type in forward slash and you will have all the options that you can use. Like a text, a title, a heading, a subheading, highlighted, call out, and so on and so forth. 
You can even upload files, images, videos, audio, PDF, bookmarks, and um, YouTube videos, YouTube um, URLs or links, and so on, and uh, many more options right there. So let's say, for example, we will be making a space for a type of list. So let's go ahead and just add a heading first. Just simply type in list of players. Now for you to go ahead and um, add another text, just simply go to the enter from your keyboard. And from here, just go ahead and click on forward slash again. Now in here, we can add highlighted text or subheading or heading or any um, information or reference that you would like to be added. For example, we'll add highlight. Now this is going to be the highlight. Just click on the three dots right here and you can go ahead and uh, choose whether to clear the style or you can go ahead and uh, duplicate the block or turn into object. So we'll just go ahead and try to add task. Now hover your mouse to turn into object and go to task. Now we will title the task first and it's going to be on a different window or different project. Now, um, we'll name the task as a list of, okay, list of users. So once you will check this, it will automatically be um, listed to your um, widgets, which are all completed. This is going to be your widgets, like the my first space and all objects and so on and so forth. Now, uh, for you to be able to add bullets in here, all you have to do is go ahead and use the forward slash button again. Now, we can go ahead and uh, use call out, a bulleted text, a number list, or a toggle. So, let's try a bulleted list first. So, example, first, second, third, and so on and so forth. So, if you're good with this, just go ahead and click checked and it will automatically be added to your um, uh, finished um, widgets. Now from here, the next thing that we can do is we can go ahead and go back to the very first home page of our project. Now if you would like to add credits like um, created by your name and created by the specific time and date, then all you have to do is to add another command. To add another command, I mean, just simply type or use the forward slash key and type in relations now relations is another tool or element that you can use relations is going to be for uh, adding created by creation date description last modified by and so on and so forth object type and tag so let's try to use created by if you would like to have a tag from the creator's name now go ahead and um, click on enter for another command and type in forward slash and then another relation so this time we will be adding the date to so just choose on creation date so as you can see um, all of those options has been added now if you don't want those options to be added just simply click and highlight those option and click on the three dots right here to delete it or to duplicate blocks or even to move it to one of the tasks that you have created or one of the objects that you created so that's the very basic part of any type on using it. If you would like um, a pre-made template, then you can go ahead and choose on this link right here, which is the gallery. It is usually located below your space or your project. Just click on that and there's going to be a bunch of pre-made templates that you can use. Now, you can use whether for collaboration, for dashboard, for work, educational purpose, for personal growth, and many of those informations that you can use. And the other thing that you can do is you can change the object type to whether it's going to be for your task, node, project, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, you can also change the open type to whether it's going to be for a blank page or for an existing page. Now for you to be able to change the color of your heading 
uh, word or heading font just click on the three dots left side of your text and go to color and you can also change the background now once everything is set up all you have to do is go to the gear icon right here which is uh, going to be taking you or it will which will take you out to your settings and these are all the uh, pre-made or pre-finished project that you did so if you would like to change the preferences just click on that and you can hover around these settings right here for color modes you can check it or change it to whether light dark or uh, you would like the system to change it itself your pin code your spaces your data management your key and the membership if you would like to explore more or subscribe to one of their subscriptions above right there that's it that's the very basic part of using any type that i own